Okay, so this is a thumbnail tutorial for my Alice Madness Returns face paint you can use for Halloween or any occasion really. So I'm using some light grey to be the Cheshire Cat. So I'm just applying that. It's only going to be a half face paint. The whole face will just take far too long. Apply light grey all over one side of the face. And I kept adding more and more just because I wanted it to look quite smooth. I found it got a little bit lighter the more I added. Next, there's some teal. This is the teal for the Cheshire Cat's eyes. You can use any shade of blue though. I've got, got quite a large eye, so you need to take it right up into the eyebrow and right down into where your bags are into your eyes. But you want it slightly pointed on the outer side of the eye. It's also got a bit of blue just at the top of the face there and a little bit more to the side. Just these colourful stripes. Now, the reason I said about the point in the corner is because of it being cat's eyes. So I'm just lining the whole eye, but I'm making it thicker as I'm going outwards to make the cat's eye. So just like an eyeliner cat eye flip. Right the way around, so basically this way you can cover your eyebrows so it doesn't exist. Let's make it nice and thick up at the top. Now look, what you'll need to do next, it gets a little bit difficult. Of course, you can't really see what you're doing when you want to do the actual eye. So draw a line right down the middle. Then sort of fill in. So it's going to point at either end but round slightly. Doing this quite early on, you will need to top it off later on because the black does start to fade a little bit once your eye moves. Next, I'm going to start my teeth. This is probably the most difficult piece of tutorial. Definitely took the most time for me. So I drew a line so I knew where I was sort of guiding my mouth first of all. I just started to work on the teeth people trying to get into my room. Get out. So only on the lips do two sets of teeth. As you move away from the mouth, only paint the top set of teeth and they'll start to get slightly bigger as well. At this point you start drawing the fangs on. So teeth are getting really big now, moving further away from the mouth. And this is where it's only top set.
found the easiest to start right at the top just enough of the teeth to actually fit in once I realised I've drawn quite a lot on. Now to just go around with outlines again. Use the line to split your face too, just to keep it better. Now I'm no face paint, so I'm fine if I don't work. I will just help out painting kids' faces, but we have no training or anything whatsoever. This is just copying pictures of the Cheshire Cat and working that way. Means anybody can do it, have a go at least. This wasn't perfect, there's lots of things I wish I had hadn't done yet. Once you've drawn all around the outside of the teeth, you need to sort of fill in the rest of the mouth around it with the black, a nice even line. We now have the Cheshire Cat's famous smile. Like I said, it starts to fade a little bit because of your eyelids constantly moving. Just having a bit more on. That's still not looking good, and that's why I'm adding textures. Just lightly apply a bit of white over the top. Don't put loads on the brush, just kind of dab it in. Don't make it look neat either. That kind of adds a bit more to the fur. Next I'm just getting a fine brush, put a bit of white on it again, just lightly flicking, just a great texture of lots of tiny hair. That's what really sets it off for this face paint, otherwise it looks just like a solid colour. As long as you put direct those flips of the brush on, it doesn't need to be me, I did them in all sorts of directions. It makes it look half decent. Now I'm using light pink on my nose. And then I'm just going to line that as well. Just using some dark grey to add a few more flicks. A bit darker fur. A 
your dark grey isn't dark enough, just add a little bit of black into it. And there you go. Finished result. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you how I go around making some of my thumbnails and little things like that. And when I was painting this, I thought, if it turns out alright, I may as well put it up as a tutorial type thing because then you can see how I've actually gone around and painted my face like the Cheshire Cat. Rah. Um, I think I'm going to use this for Halloween now. In work anyway, that's why I've done half a face. Because the full face will be absolutely terrifying. Haha. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this. See, I've started like making changes on my thumbnails and stuff. They're getting a little bit more adventurous. I still don't have Photoshop or anything like that. So I am just using like three downloads of things to try and create those thumbnails. So they're not the best quality, but uh, painting my face like this certainly helps in making me look more like the Cheshire Cat. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this. But with the run-up of Halloween, it makes a bit more sense. And until next time, Goodbye. <laughs>